This is Video Time with Carmen. Well, good morning, my awesome little humans. Carmen here. I am hanging in my hammock, thinking about empathy and all the stuff that we've been talking about the last couple weeks and it got me thinking we have learned some skills in previous months where we talked about listening with our eyes and our ears and that comes in really handy when we're dealing with empathy sometimes we see someone and we can see that something looks wrong like they're not doing very well maybe they're sad or it's just obvious they're not having a great day. And so we can use our eyes to assess that and then we can ask good questions. Asking questions is a great way to engage with empathy because it gives us a better idea of what's going on. Let me give you an example. There's this game you can play. It's called temperature check. And you just ask the people in your house, how are you feeling today? Well, now we have an opportunity to talk. You know what? I woke up. I saw the sun shining. I am feeling good. Someone else might answer. Oh, I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I'm feeling agitated. Okay, well, we don't have to feel the same thing. That's okay. But one of the tools we can use for empathy is asking good questions. So maybe there's a follow-up question. Why do you think maybe you're not feeling so good? Why are you feeling agitated? Let them answer. Oh, I had this bad dream and I didn't sleep very good. And you're like, oh, what was the dream about? So being able to ask questions that continue the conversation that help you to better understand what they're feeling and why maybe they're feeling it. The more questions that get answered, the easier it's going to be for us to relate with them, to show empathy and to go, I get it, I have felt like that, or I've never felt like that, but it doesn't sound awesome. I'm sorry you're feeling that way. So being able to ask great questions, and that's what I want you guys to do as a family today. Ask the question, how are you doing? And each person being able to share how it is they're feeling, and then ask some follow-up questions to discover why they're feeling that way. And then talk about if you've ever felt that way. Maybe you can hear in the background kids playing and screaming and having a good time. Well, I could be sitting here and thinking, guys, I'm trying to shoot a video. Could you please be quiet? Stop it. Like what? But then I think about all the kids who have been locked indoors, not being able to go outside and play all that energy being pent up and I think it is amazing that they are outside playing and having a good time. It's okay if the background to my video has some noise in it. And so that's me learning to use empathy to understand why someone else is maybe being loud and having a crazy time in their backyard. I'm happy for them. But I could just as easily be frustrated and be like, ah, quiet. But empathy helps us to understand where they're coming from. And so I hope you guys continue to practice, have fun with this, and learn to ask awesome questions. The more you ask, the more you learn. The more you learn, the easier it is to be empathetic. So keep practicing. Tell me your stories about times when you've experienced empathy or shown empathy I'd love to hear. This is our final week talking about empathy. Next week, we are going to have a summer fun, all the kind of games and different things you could do at home, in your yard, during the pandemic to have an awesome summer, some fun games, some fun activities, and we hope you guys will join us. Have an awesome week.